over the last 30 years. Over the last 30 years. In the last 30 years. Over the last 30 years, one of the big changes in the discipline and also in policy making has been the treatment of inequality. In the past, inequality was examined primarily by people who were associated with the left. And now it's become mainstream. I looked at uh, how many studies on inequality did wider produce between like 1985 and 1999, and there were two or three. Since then, there are more than 300. I looked at uh, how many times the word inequality was mentioned in the world development reports by the World Bank on poverty in 1980 and 1990, and it was not mentioned. It started to be included in the WDR of 2001, timidly at first, but then the World Bank agreed to have an entire World Development Report dedicated to inequality, but inequality of opportunity in 2006. One of the key institutions that has put the inequality issue on the agenda forefront is the International Monetary Fund, something you would have never, ever thought a few years back. In the last 20 years, at least on the spending side, there has been an inclination to spend more on the poor, both through cash transfers and also in terms of spending on education and health. So there was a more progressive, more equalizing income redistribution process than in the past. Fiscal redistribution, however, in the, this, you know, this is a project that I coordinate that is global, where I can compare what happens in developing countries with uh, advanced economies, obviously is still much, much lower in the developing world than it is in the advanced economies. My research has been focusing on the determinants of inequality in Latin America, primarily wage inequality and inequality that is corrected through uh, fiscal redistribution. Redistribution means taxes, you take money from some and you give it to others through transfers. Over the next 30 years. Over the next 30 years. Over the next 30 years. Over the next 30 years, the biggest single challenge for those of us who are interested in focusing on inequality and how to reduce egregious inequalities and create more fair societies is the fact that growth will be increasingly driven by technology. Technology that will replace jobs. So if people will not have access to jobs and technology and machines and robots are owned by other people, then we're gonna have a problem.